Ball valves. Why are there so many? And which one do I choose for my gun? Some of the most common places that you're gonna find ball valves are on fixed installations where your pressure washer has maybe a plate on it and you would mount your ball valve to that front plate. You can find them in ceiling mounts where there are pressurized lines run through ceilings and maybe hog barns or poultry barns and they have ball valve shutoffs for each one of the drops. And the most common place that most people end up putting them is at the base of their spray gun. And this is used as a shutoff so you can change from one gun to another or one setup to another without turning off your pressure washer. Re-engage and now you're running. So it's a huge time saver. Within the family of ball valves, MTM Velocity has four different styles. The first is going to be the Italian made ball valve, which is really common here in the US with a shortened handle. The second is going to be a German style, which is zinc plated. And the third and fourth are going to be from China. When choosing the ball valve, you're going to really want to make sure that you have the correct specs for whatever your system requires. So among those specs are going to be the size of the ball valve, the PSI rating of the ball valve or your system, and your flow requirements. We have a couple different options within that category. So here you can see we have three different sizes. We offer it in quarter, three eighths, and half inch. It changes by the manufacturer for what is offered. For example, the German size, we have half inch and three quarter. And the Italians offer a three eighths and a half inch. And this is typically gonna be decided by what you're plumbing this into. You can always use bushings, but usually you want to be cognizant of the PSI and flow requirements to make sure that that valve is gonna work for you. And with PSI, our range offering goes from 3,000 up to 7,000. Always make sure that your ball valve is overrated from your required pressure. When you're trying to decide on your sizing, not just the threads, but the sizing of the ball valve, always look at the bore size or the hole diameter of what your system requires. For example, these are both half inch ball valves, but the bore size on this is much smaller than the bore size on this. Typically, a larger bore is going to allow higher flow. Here we have a disassembled stainless ball valve. The handle is connected to the stem, which is keyed onto a ball that opens and closes to turn on and turn off pressurized water. The ball valve, or the ball, actually sits on a seat. You can see this is actually tapered on the edge. It may be hard to see on the camera. But the ball actually sits on that seat, and that's part of what creates a watertight seal. There are many seat types. Those are typically dictated by what the PSI, the bore size, and the temperature rating are for this whole setup. This can cause big problems if you're using this out of spec range for temperature. This seal can expand and then you can't turn the ball valve. All of MTM Velocity's ball valves range from 176 degree max up to 215 degrees. If you exceed that, your seals can expand and your ball valve will no longer operate. The way that these operate is that your handle is connected through a series of retaining nuts onto the stem, which is inserted into the middle of the valve. And it's keyed onto the ball and can turn. The order of assembly for the seals would be that you have one on this side, then you have your ball, which is oriented with the keyed portion on top, another seal, and then a retaining nut holding everything together. On the top side, you have your stem that goes in first, which slips into this keyed portion of the ball. You have another retaining nut with washer, and then you have your handle, a nut that holds the handle on, and your top cap. If you're trying to decide on which ball valve is gonna work based on the material, a quick way to make your decision is going to be that the Italian ball valves that we offer are in nickel plated brass. This means that they have a lower PSI rating, but the nickel plating is going to be, it's going to have enhanced corrosion resistance. For the German ball valves, it is a zinc plated ball valve, which is the same as the Chinese ones. However, because of the materials they use and their manufacturing quality, these are gonna last exponentially longer and they're 215 degree rated for hot water. 
the zinc-plated ball valve from China is going to be a more economical option for you. They're typically a little bit harder to turn, the seals are not quite as good, but they cost less and they're easily replaceable. And finally, we have the stainless version from China, and this particular model is going to be very corrosion resistant. It is not rated for uh, 215 degrees, it's only rated for 176, which is considered cold water, although most cleaning methods only require 150 to 170 degrees. And it has a wall mount nut so that you can mount it in a panel format for a fixed installation. When choosing the right ball valve, you have three things to consider. One are your specs, which is gonna be your PSI, your GPM or your flow rating, and your temperature rating. The second is going to be the functionality, a short handle or a longer handle. And finally, what does your budget call for? 